Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. Today, two teams collide in an old-fashioned SEC showdown. As we'll see, the Oklahoma Sooners taking on the ninth-ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Sooners will kick it away to start. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Tigers' offense will get the first swing of the game. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm. Find that timing to wide receiver so you're set up for success. Then you go attack deep later on. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Tigers will hustle to the line. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. He'll take a deep shot here. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The give to the back. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long, coming up. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. No good. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys, and couldn't do it. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. The run from the shotgun. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in their gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. 
Scanning the field, it's Arnold. And the freshman will talk up a sack. They were trying to set up the screen. They were trying to take advantage of this pass rush. But man, that defender, he beat his guy so quickly, he just blew the play up. The Sooners will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Right down the middle. Complete to the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback to have everything on your side. And have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet, yelling, screaming. Now listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese, but they are an intimidating crowd. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the lone running back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. He's going to fire deep. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Yeah, and that's simple, but it's not easy. It's a go route. Like, the, the, that receiver's streaking straight down the outside of the field. And my job as a quarterback is to put that ball up in the air, keep it away from the safety. He does just that. Receiver comes down with the catch. Nice pitch, nice catch, touchdown. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Looking to go up top on first down. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. It's such a nice play getting that sack. And I'll tell you, what makes it worse is the fact that he has this crowd noise behind him. Death Valley is so loud. Arguably the loudest stadium in the entire country. And I know that having played here before, you do not want to get behind the chains as an opposing quarterback with this crowd noise. It makes it so hard for your offensive line to hear the cadence to know when the snap is coming out. And you know it's helping this D-line get up field. I think you saw an example of that on that last play. They're setting up the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. And you're trying to get the ball to the running back quick and let him get some space, but there was absolutely no space. They penetrated quickly, and they got him before he could even get going. 
listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. And sure, tackling there to keep them from getting to the first down marker. And the Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Quick strike complete. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Caught in the backfield, it's Daniels. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Makes the catch. It's Thomas. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out and get the first down? You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down, right? The... Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger. Anytime you've got a successful run play on the ground, you've got to have great blocking up front. The offensive line, receivers, everybody doing their job. And that helped lead to the home run. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was closed out by the fantastic 25-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Barnes. At the 45 on his way! 
major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? Most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they, and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. Really nice run. This guy brings balance to this offense. It's not all high-flying aerial passing attack, too. You go back to Adrian Peterson, DeMarco Murray, Samaj P. Ryan. They've always had guys in these spread-up tempo offenses that have been able to give them balance and force the defense to stay honest. That's exactly what this guy brings the Sooner offense. Grabbed over the middle. It's sharp. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Catch open down the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, it's so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. He'll pull it on the read. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Nice job there by the QB on the zone read because he's watching the D lineman and he knows he has to keep the football and then he right away takes it upfield to get some positive yards. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's sharp. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Really good defense. You know, you're trying to stay as close as you can to all these targets, and most importantly, those open field tackles and getting them on the ground as soon as they catch it. That's a major deal for defenses, and that was a good example there of it. Snap from the gun on third down. And he's got it! Touchdown, Oklahoma! And what did I start for this offense? The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass, this quarterback getting a little bit of confidence, this passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They march 79 yards on the drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. And the incompletion brings up a second down. They'll run play action. Caught on the outside. It's Lacey. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Look, as an offense, you're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not by much. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. 
He unleashes a long one. And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. LSU getting set on first and ten. On the run, it's Durham. Defense holds their ground, pickup of a yard, it's at the 26. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they gotta do a great job gang tackling, because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Off the play fake. Pass rush, coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. He's got it. Defense knocks him down immediately after the catch, but now they're facing a goal-to-go -go situation from the seven. And the defense has to be kicking themselves for allowing a first down there. You're just maybe going to give them a few yards and let them set up for a field goal. Instead, you let them move the chains, and now they're knocking on your door first and goal. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Wide receiver shows motion. A first down run in the red zone. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Zone he goes. Touchdown LSU. Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. They're able to find the tight end for an easy completion, but good job tackling, not allowing him to get the first down. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. A little screen to the running back. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. You gotta love that. On defense, one of 
of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop do you do You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fair catch called for, but a flag is on the field. Let's see what that's about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Roughing, the, Roughing kicker. the kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punt. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. How about that Bayou Bengal defensive front showing some dominance? Booger, McFarland, Marcus Spears like in their pressure. And that defensive line getting to the quarterback. And they got so many guys that we could name like, like Spears um, that you just mentioned, like Booger in the past that put on that purple and gold, look good, big physical guys that fill out their uniforms and eat quarterbacks. Caught behind the line. It's sharp. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They wanted to get the ball to the tight end, and they've already done it five times, and we're not even to the half. I'm about to say, mission accomplished. That's what they want to do. Take advantage of the matchup, right? Zone or man, I like my big fella. I like using the tight end all I can. Great job working him into the offense. He's a playmaker. Find him. Throws to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Sooners send out the punt unit. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talk about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to do. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Setting up the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. On the move, it's Bowen. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. On the return, it's Thomas. 
Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at 23. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Give to the running back. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. A little too much on that one, just out of his reach. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time, the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. Faced with a third and short from their own 32 to keep this drive alive. They'll try to run for it. It's a game of first downs, and they've got one out to their own 37. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. LSU with the first and 10 here. Grab behind the line. It's Anderson. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. They're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carry on that one. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads it downfield. And he makes the catch inside the 20. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. LSU quick to the line. Swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Leaves it with the running back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. And that last one was just a nice job seeing the hole, exploding through it. He has had a heck of a night. Now with that carry, over 100 yards on the game. That's the mark you really want to hit as a running back, and he's got that here tonight. Wants to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Coming after it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This defense needed something to go right. Man, they're down big already in the first half. Get to the quarterback. Get him on the ground. This could start some momentum going back the other direction. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hash. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll start the return inside his five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Sooner offense returns to the field. Trailing down by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. 
think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there and make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. He'll come out throwing on first down. They'll run the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing, offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen and behind it. There was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. Oh, it, it's always frustrating as a quarterback when you put it on the money and the guy drops it. But you know what you got to do? You got to build his confidence. Buddy, I'm coming back to you later. Just get your mind right. Get ready, because I know you can make that catch. Ball at the 38. The defense will try to get a stop on third and short. Got his man downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Sooners getting set on first and 10. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy first on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split them out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. And he will take it in. Touchdown Sooner. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, but they're still down 24-14. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They'll throw it on first down. That's reeled in. It's Lacey. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Now on second down after the short completion. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Facing a third down and short from the 26. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Man, this quarterback is having a first half. He's over 200 yards already, heating up, setting up. Dude, this dude might break his career high in passing. I don't know what it is. Somebody get stats for him. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. 
to the air. It's Nussmeyer. He lost one down the sideline. He's got it down the right side. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown by you, Bengals. If I'm a play caller nowadays, man, I want more guys like this. Just versatility. You can see he can catch it out of the backfield like a wide receiver, or he can run it. Nice job catching the football with his hands, using his speed to do the rest and get into the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. First down here for the offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Getting some heat. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. To the air, it's Arnold. He lobs one high down the left side. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific game from there in Death Valley. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's head back to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge. inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speak and very simple. I score. I get a stop. I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops, so this is a critical drive here for this offense. They'll put the tight end in motion. Now the play fake. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And no shortage of the big boys coming out of Baton Rouge as LSU's defense in the backfield again. Yeah, you talk about tall, long, athletic guys that get after the quarterback, LSU. They typically have a lot of those guys. That's a really fun thing to have when you're a defensive coordinator. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. Lost one deep down the right side. It's complete. A huge pickup. Touchdown, Oklahoma. And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. 
And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And they could not have finished with more style. An 87-yard touchdown pass. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Looking for room, it's Durham. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. Afterburner's coming. He's at the 10. Touchdown, to catch and run for six. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march down the field and score. There is no end in sight for these guys. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. Quick strike offense on that three play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a scintillating big play. 83 yards on the touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Last time they had it, they took it down the field for a touchdown. They can build some confidence that they could go back-to-back -back scoring drives here. Yeah, and remember, it's not uncommon for offenses to find themselves as the game goes on. They had some things not go their way early, but they found something last drive, David. Let's see if they can build on that. Yeah, you, you, you just pick and pick and pick until you find that place where you're like, okay, this is an advantage I have. They've clearly found that dude. They score here. We're in for a ball game. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. Quickly complete. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out quick, get it to your playmakers in space, get positive yards. It's uh, instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times, if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. Bully ball on third and short. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. He 
He's going to pass. He's got it down the middle. Really nice pick up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. Really nice job threading the needle on that pass. They've had a lot of dudes that were able to do that in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heupel, Jason White, Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. The names go on and on and on. Hurting you in the passing game with their vision, with their accuracy. This guy, I tell you, he fits right in in this Oklahoma offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And they got him for the sack. Well, that's a phenomenal individual effort, getting that sack. What a dominant play. And I'll tell you, playing here at Death Valley, a play like that now is going to get this crowd hyped up. And that's something as an opposing quarterback you do not want. Take it from me. I know it from experience. I remember my true freshman year playing at night here in Death Valley. That was the first time in my life I understood what the term hostile environment meant. This place is scary when the crowd gets involved, and that sack right there is going to light them up. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Sooners will call on their punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now, on the same page. Quarterback empties his backfield. Right back to the air on second and ten. He's got it on the right. All kinds of running room. Touchdown, Tigers. And the beatdown has ensued. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown. And that's pretty much what just happened there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays. They get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. From the gun, the ground game. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Man, this defense has been ruthless all game long. Individual effort. They've got guys up front winning their one-on-one -on -one matchups, and they have been terrorizing this quarter. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. 
Lots of good stuff on that play. You slow down the rush, you get a completion, and you move the chains. And most importantly, you're right. You don't force a short yarded situation that you have to get. Nice job. Invite that rush up the field. Take advantage of the aggressiveness of the defense. Make the catch, make the run, get the first down. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give out of the gun. Good pick up on the ground and they'll mark him down at the 39. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He'll have enough for the first down and they stop him at the 45. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Got him looking run, he wants to throw. And the defense gets to the quarterback. This defensive end is an animal. He already has two sacks, and we're only in the third quarter. I'd move him around a little bit more defensively so that the offense has no idea where he's lining up. Because right now, man, he is feasting. This drive was rolling, and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. To the air, it's Arnold. Makes his connection. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Snags it inside the 20. And he slipped through the crowd and he'll house it. Touchdown Sooners. And man, is that perfect timing. You could tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer. Right in the bread basket. Nice play. Nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. They'll line up to go for two. On the option. He's not going to get it in, and the lead will remain 18 as they were trying to make this a two-possession game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. Throwing right. He makes the catch. Building momentum, picking up a chunk of yardage, moving the chains out to the 34. That's a really nice job holding that pass in. And you think LSU has just been such a breeding ground in recent years for receivers. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, OBJ, Jarvis Landry. They all have the ability to make a play anywhere on the field. And that's what this guy can do. You can line him up anywhere. He can run routes at all three levels of the secondary. The defense has to know where he is lined up every single play. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle and he flat dropped it. The 
ball still spotted at the 34. It's second and 10. Trying play action. Catch in the middle. It's Anderson. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. He is having a day, and there's still a ways to go, but pretty soon he might make a call on Kayshawn Booty's single-game receiving record. And if I'm him, I'm going to my QB and be like, listen, dog, I'm close. <laughs> Feed me that rock. I want to go get the record. Nobody's guarding me. Nobody can stop me. Just get it to me, and I'll make the plays for you. And right now, listen, if I'm the LSU quarterback, I'm like, yeah, you keep doing that, I'll keep feeding you the rock. This offense all game long has been running really well, and I'm really impressed by how well they've recruited at the running back position. They've got some dynamic players coming into the game at different points, spelling each other, keeping each other fresh, and they're hurting this defense. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle, it's Taylor. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. The play action fake. Caught near the sideline, it's Lacey. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down in bounds. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. And another nice game by the offense. All right, defense. We got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? From the red zone, looking for a man. He's got it. Touchdown, Tigers. And the route is on. He has been surgical. Precision passes using the scalpel, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They go 83 yards on the drive, and the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Just a short pass to the tight end. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions as they get set to snap it just about to reach the end of the quarter and talk about spreading the ball around everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen <laughs> period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them and now on second down for this offense he's looking to throw 
just goes right through the wicket, brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here with a big lead in the game. You're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Holds it in. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. This offense has a second down play. He wants to throw it again. On target to the left. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open, couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over, and maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. The Sooners have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Now improvising. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The gift to the back. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all of that, this is four down territory too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown Oklahoma. And how about this play by the offense? First and goal from the one-yard line. Everything says it's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. Nice job by the offense. A little sleight of hand, throwing the football, getting the touchdown. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. So it's an 80-yard drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. So they got the score. The lead is still 18 as they prepare to kick off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, Dave. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being at it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They're going to test the right side with this one. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Shoots it to the left. Wide open downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed jump play. Yeah, and winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it. Keep getting those stats. Single back formation, and they give it to him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You haven't seen that happen too often tonight. Taking a loss on a run. This guy's been special. He's been finding ways to get into the second level of this defense. And because of his talent and ability, that's a big reason why they've got the lead right now. You know that's not going to deter them that last play. They're going to keep handing him the football. The run to the left. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And no shot at a return here as the punt flies out of bounds. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the backfield. It's sharp. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no gain. And the Sooners are in the hurry up. Looking downfield, it's Arnold. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The offense has it first and 10 from their own 20. Handoff from the gun. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. And off from the shotgun. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. So they're facing third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. He'll pull it down and run. Got all he needed for the first down and then he gets down on the slide. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. The Sooners have their offense in high gear.
He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And it's difficult to contain athletic quarterbacks, but man, when everybody plays their assignment, it's a beautiful thing. I understand I got to take away this. I got to keep my eyes on the quarterback, make sure he doesn't pull that football. They weren't fooled, and the quarterback had nowhere to go. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Dropping back, it's Arnold. He lets it fly. And the incomplete pass taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? On fourth down, going to the air. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. The Sooners want to move quickly. Using his legs, it's Ocha. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll run play action. They're trying to get to it. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Listen. I would get rid of that thing fast, too, if I've been sacked that many times today. They're coming every angle. Everybody's coming. They've got to me the whole day. Can somebody please get my back? Third and short from the 28. Let's see if this is four down territory or if they just pick up the first here. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. And when I got a stud quarterback like, the, like they do, I'm going to protect him. I'm going to make sure that I keep him upright because he can do some serious damage. But this defense applying pressure and applying the hammer in this football game. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. And it's swatted away. It's a turnover on downs. The offense lining up for a first down play. Give as they work on that clock. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football. With the lead late in the game, we're on offense. We're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds. Cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances. They are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Here comes the offense on first and ten from the 47. to the ground with the back. Nice move to keep running. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four.
from the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the defense finally gets a stop there, but a big reason why they've got the lead right now is because of this dude toting the rock. And, David, it just seems like he's been getting better as the game's gone on. Yeah, and the defense all night, no answers. I mean, he's just he's shown you a little bit of everything, whether it's inside, whether it's outside, whether it's outrunning people or breaking tackles. This guy's been a game wrecker. Back to pass, it's Nussmeyer. He'll off one deep down the left side. Touchdown, Tigers! And the stomping has commenced. These guys looking to put the finishing touches on this game with that score. Yeah, I think you feel confident that ends it, right? Late in the game, it would take a miracle for the defense to get back in it. That miracle is no longer coming now. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. They're lining up to boot it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find some. And the defense is all over the quarterback. And down he goes. The offense uses a timeout. 20 ticks remaining. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. From the gun. Wants to pass. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. <laughs> 